we got a lot of people already saying that they're going to go. Um, Phantom's the one running the show behind that, and he's there going go. to be uh, releasing be a hype video, I think, a sometime soon. So Ooh. if that ends up coming together, that'll be a lot of fun to see. But uh, I think Cody's called out everybody, said uh, all you beginners show up in a five bucks if you take a game, up to 25 total. And That's going to be so. uh, that's gonna be something else. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I wish I had like I wish I was that good that I could just go like, hold up, y'all can't beat me. So five bucks if you can take a game. <laughs> All right. So we're going into game one here on Smashville once again. And we um, have uh, a dark pit. It's a very pit. rare pick here from uh, I'm guessing Keenan, Sunito doing the uh, Sonic. Recently moving to Georgia, I believe. Uh, can't quite remember which state he's from, but. A very, very strong player there with uh, the general response from Georgia being another Sonic, and he's proving <laughs> it here with a 102% lead and no damage until that arrow. So commentator's curse for you. Man, you just had to mess it up. Wow. Very nice forward Nearly air coming out had there. it right there. Oh! That was, that was really was great coming out of the side right, right there. there. <laughs> so you get it's Doom Fist and Snet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw that trailer and it actually looks really good. Like, I'm not super huge into Overwatch, but like when oh, I do wow. play, it's a lot of fun. But the spring nearly taking it there and then calling out his like, ledge option to get him with the up smash. But oh, this is this is a really crazy Sonic playstyle because you know the more Sonics you know you have to watch or you not have to watch, but you watch. You see, they all have their like you know unique individual playstyle, and it's. No two Sonics really play the same either. And oh. you see this, it's just a, such a dominating play style coming out from him. Ah, it's like uh, Salt One is back on the screen again, trying to steamroll. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's like he got a lot older, but you know, he's playing. But it looks like uh, Keenan started to get his rhythm in. He's gotten a bunch of really good hits in and had him in the air for a little while, but now he's back to being juggled by Sonic. Sonic is such a hard character to deal with. Especially if you don't understand the matchup, mm -hmm. you really have to work to defeat a character like Sonic, because Sonic has just such a dominating playstyle, but at the same time, he can just sit there and camp the side of the stage and still do really good. Oh, yeah. And it's and, and, like, you, and you have to learn how to fight both of those, because different Sonic players play it different ways, or even a mix of all of them. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Sonic is one of those characters that can uh, he can mix up his playstyle really quickly between players and like between matchups. But like a, a lot of characters can uh, struggle with him just because of his speed. Like he can cover your landing like no tomorrow, and you'll just get trapped in the air for essentially. Exactly, very hard character to deal with. But we do see that Keenan's actually doing somewhat better his second stock, and hopefully that's going to be a light for game two to come around that he'll do a lot better against him, and hopefully see a game three. Hopefully, but uh, he's definitely looking to try and get a forward throw here. Oh, and a good up smash to close it out. So. You, you brought it back, you take a stock, you can take a game, you take a game, you can take a set. So, I mean, that's that's, that's good motivation right there. He's definitely going to have a large hill to climb here, though. 120%, a solid back air, or possibly even, no, not the nair. So, maybe with some rage, the nair will start becoming more of an option with a better hit of it. Back throw is also going to be a kill option for Sonic here, as the percent has gotten so high. Um, See, there he goes, trying to get some throw right there. Actually using the up air to cancel the spring to protect himself right there. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a, a very tense situation because he hasn't been able to get percent, and that'll do it. The there spin dash to Nair to close it out. So there we go. Very dominant game from Sunito, but Keenan began to make some really good plays on his second stock and even managed exactly. to take that first stock when it looked like we were going to have another wash, just like the previous game. So, it's definitely not unwinnable. I can see a character switch. Cloud. I, this can, when in doubt, switch to Cloud. That is true. Always have a pocket Cloud. But this is actually a matchup that can be decently good for Cloud as long as you don't get edge guarded. Because his sword lets him contest a lot of those approach exactly. options that were getting him steamrolled that last game, like the spin dash and all those. So, and like he's actually not that, like, he, he, he started figuring out the matchup, and especially with a character like Cloud, you have moves like his Nair, his up air, and a lot of just random stuff that Cloud can do. They can really help you win a situation like this, especially against such a dominating character like Sonic, as Cloud dominates himself. Oh, yeah. 
But Sonido still getting straight to work. Uh, that was a somewhat risky up but it was good, well Paid placed, off. but if it hadn't a hit him, he would have been dead. And that would have been stock one gone. Got his limit though, so he's gotta be safe for a little while, but he immediately has to waste it. There we go. A lot more even game coming around, looking like Cloud was the better option for Keenan over here. And there we go, not contesting that, knowing that he would get, um, knowing that he'd get punished for it. Mm -hmm. And now he's uh, actually starting to play a bit more patient. He's trying to uh, catch a lot of his options with uh, the bear, which is a huge, huge hitbox. It's a very strong move, but the spring there. Yeah. Wow, very nice back air. And that's going to be it, because uh, no jump left, no options. He just had to hope that he had limit, and even then he started <laughs> charging a little late. So that yeah. stock is down, but it's definitely not unwinnable. He's a lot closer than he was in the last game, already at 63% on uh, Sonido, so. That we do see uh, Zoni or Sonido playing a little bit more respectfully this game. Like, he is he is understanding the situation that he's in playing against Cloud and giving off that the, the, the last stock of game one. So he's playing a lot more cautiously and a, lot, a little bit less aggressive. And like what you talked about, him switching play styles mid-match. We're seeing that right now to play more of a mix of uh, passive aggressive here. Oh yeah, and uh, we do see. Oh no! We see an S 